hope you're all doing fine, everyone. And I want to know what did you do this um, holiday? So I think you hmm, like had fun. Where did you go? What did you eat? <laughs> did you have a bad or good holiday? But I hope everyone had a good holiday, right? So I want to know about that. So I have to. I want you to tell me, okay? Alright, so let's do this later. Let's do that later on. So again, welcome everyone, welcome students and dear parents. I hope to see every one of you inside the classroom very soon. Alright, so today in, we are going to continue Unit 5 and we are going to discuss dictionary. Okay, what is a dictionary? Dictionary. Anyone? Maybe some of you know what a dictionary is because you're already in grade 2 and it means that you need a lot, no not a lot, but you have to at least learn new words, right? So a dictionary is a reference source in print, okay? So it can be printed or electronic form containing words usually alphabetically arranged along with the information about their forms, um, pronunciations, functions, etymologies, meanings, and syntactic and idiomatic uses. So dictionary in short is very useful. We use it to understand and to know more about a word, okay? So dictionaries mostly is just one word alphabetically arranged with all the meaning and explanation about that word that you need to know, that you have to know. Okay, so let's discuss this one by one. Let me just double check our video because sometimes it stops automatically. Okay, so let's discuss this one by one. It says here, everyone, that alphabetically arranged. Alphabetically arranged, meaning A to Z. So if this is your dictionary, okay, this is page one. So the first word, uh, A or A. So these are already symbols. So 
in each of these symbols, we have they have their own sound. Okay. Now in here you can just simply say definition, but in here it's like um, explain more. Okay. So definition. So this symbol is the sound of sh and uh, uh. Alright. So if you know your IPA symbols in the future, if you grow older, if you uh, if you reach college, university, it's very useful if you're learning English. Number one, you, it's also good to uh, know your IPA symbols and pronunciations. Okay. So pronunciation, what else? Meaning, syntactic, and idiomatic uses. That's so much for you to know right now. But you, all you need to have to know about dictionary is that. It gives, it helps people to understand the meaning of words and how to pronounce in history about this word. Some dictionaries have even uh, pictures and history about the word. So dictionaries um, like printed in different ways, different forms because people use it in different ways to, okay? Alright, so um, again, dictionary is a reference source in print. Again, in print, meaning it can be in a form of a book or you can find uh, definitions through internet, okay? Phone, laptop, what else? Yeah. Monitors? <laughs> okay, so in print, meaning the book itself. So when we say in print, meaning a real book or in uh, electronic meaning you can find it by searching Google uh, and many more. Okay, All right. So that's it for your uh, dictionary, everyone. Now for task one, you have to find the meaning of the words that I will be sending you after this video. So for now, please review this video. Please look for uh, more um, thing, more definitions or things about dictionary that you want to learn. I'll get back to you and give you task one. I'll see you later. I'm back kids. Thank you for doing task one for today's lesson. Now for task two, we are going to have um, another activity that I will be sending you after this video. Now I want you to get your books and go to page 104. Please open um, one page. Page 104. Okay. Um, on page 104, there is additional things that we need to know about your dictionary. Okay, so let's all discuss about these words all together. Oh, about this uh, things all together. Okay, so did you know, did you know these facts about dictionaries? So I want you to follow after me, okay? Alright. First, dictionaries are books of words and their meanings. Alright, so it means that words like this, words, and then the meaning of the word. For example, apple. Apple is an um, apple is a fruit. Blah blah, and so on and so forth. Okay. Next, words are listed in alphabetical order. Like what I told you earlier, alphabetically arranged. So these are arranged alphabetically. So A first. Da -da 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 -da. Most of the time I use dictionary.
dictionaries to look for the meaning of the words and at the same time pronunciation. Like I told you earlier, um, the IPA is very useful, especially when you are already um, trying to perfect the way that you speak, uh, the way uh, that you read the words and everything. Okay, so um, that's it. So basically, dictionaries, there's a lot of uses for it, and some people use it for different reasons. Okay, next, the first dictionary we know about was written nearly 5,000 years ago in Syria. Wow, that's a long, long time ago. So can you imagine kids 5,000 years ago? Just so you know what 5,000 is, 5,000 years ago. So in Kabul, you, it's like from Puan, from Puan years ago. So you can imagine that it was a long time ago. Amazing, right? Yeah, so that's the first dictionary that we know, but it's in Syria. So most probably it's in Arabic. Not sure about that, but that is in Syria. Okay, and next it says here the first dictionary of the English language was written more than 400 years ago. So the dictionary that in, um, that we, the, the English dictionary that we know that we use right now, the very first one was written around 400 years ago. Okay, so not not even half of this one, but it's still a long time ago, right? Yep. So yeah, that's it. I think that's a good thing for you to know as well for your dictionary. And by the way, for the words, kids, that we put in a dictionary, like who decides what to put in a dictionary? Of course, not just one person. Like, oh, I want this word to be included in the dictionary. You cannot just do that because they, it needs a lot of work. It needs a lot of citations in order for a word to be included in a dictionary. So, yeah, if it is being written in a lot of newspapers, it's being cited in the internet, being used commonly by people, then they might take into consideration putting that word in the dictionary. But words in the dictionary is not just, oh, I want to put this word in the dictionary. Not that easy, okay? It's, it needs a lot of work, a lot of people to think about it in order to be included in the Okay, so that's it kids, um, please after this video prepare because I will be sending um, your second task for today. Okay, I'm back kids, thank you for doing task 1 and task 2 for today's lesson about dictionary and please don't forget to do this homework so after this video I'll be sending you I'm hoping
hopefully in the next week we'll be able to see you soon. We will try to have um, Zoom class. I'm not sure about that, but we'll try something, okay? Alright, so I have to say goodbye for now. Thank you so much for your time. Dear parents, thank you for helping me and thank you for assisting your children. I know that you are also busy, but I do appreciate that you're trying your best helping them out as well. So thank you, dear parents. And again, thank you, great two students. I'll see you again.